we now know another key piece of information in the drama of Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie. The medical examiner said today that Laundrie killed himself in the Carlton Reserve. His skeleton remains were found just over a month ago. Laundrie was the only suspect in the murder of his fiance Gabby Petito, who was found dead, of course, in Wyoming. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live in Tampa to explain what the medical examiner did and didn't say. All right, Evan. Well, Kelly, this was such a difficult investigation because of how badly decomposed the remains were. An anthropologist says he killed himself with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Family, you need to cooperate with authority. It turns out when all these demonstrators were at the laundry house demanding Brian tell police what he knew about Gabby. Speak now. It's just going to get worse. Brian was potentially already dead. It really leaves some questions unanswered, unfortunately, uh, in terms of what we can have for justice for Gabby Petito. We don't yet know what, if anything, was found with Laundrie's body, nor do we know how much evidence police have as to how she died or if he took it with him when he shot himself in the Carlton Reserve. Law enforcement searched there for a month until his skeletal remains were found. We're going to see some further investigation into the manner of his death and perhaps interviews by law enforcement for people who know uh, Brian Laundrie, and that would be his family. They didn't tell police for four days that he'd gone into the preserve on September 13th, with their lawyers saying that was because they assumed he was out hiking. Petito's family had begged them to say what they knew. What I need from everybody here is help. Because the, the goal is still not met. And that goal is to bring Gabby home safe. Petito was found dead near Grand Teton National Park on September 19th after family reported her missing September 11th. Her death was ruled a homicide by strangulation. Laundry, with whom she'd had many happy times, was the only known person of interest. How did it come to this? People wondered what happened to Gabby Petito and also Brian Laundrie. So I think just the public interest will lead law enforcement to inform the public. So people, not just the families, but the public could have some closure to this story. Gabby Petito's family says they have been asked by the U.S. Attorney's Office to not make any statements regarding this case because of the potential that charges could be filed, though it is unclear as to who they may be referring to there. The Laundry family says they are still mourning the loss of their son, and they hope that this announcement brings closure to both families. Kelly. All right, Evan Axelbank reporting tonight. Thank you, Evan.